Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and we're going to be going over some key points that I know stuck out for me during the Love Struck expansion pack stream that aired earlier today on July 18th, depending on when you see this. So Love Struck is a new pack that's going to be coming out. It's an expansion pack that hits everyone's Sims game by purchase July 25th and they're going to go over not only things from the expansion pack that's coming but also base game items. Now I'm going to be covering both like I said this is just going to be my take on what I saw that stuck out to me how other people play their game and how they maneuver their game and what interests them certain things are going to stick out to them a lot more so I may not even touch points on things that you wanted to see but again I will link it down below in the description if you you want to watch the full entirety of the expansion pack walkthrough for yourself. Like I said, I just want to hit on key points that stuck out for me and that I thought would help elevate my game and for those that I'm around that they would like to pay a little bit more closer attention to. So if you did watch this when it aired, go ahead and comment down below what is something that you're excited to see or looking forward to and we're going to touch base on what is going to happen with the mods and CC that we have for this game as as this is more directed towards the adult side of Sims players, and we know some of those mods will definitely have to get fixed. So going forward, starting out looking with our creative sim, aka Cass, they went through and showed us some of the outfits that we're going to be getting, and... I wasn't too wowed, bamboozled about them. Um, they're pretty base game-ish. There were a couple things here and there that I did appreciate they did. There was a couple of outfits um, that they separated instead of them making them whole. So you can piece them separate as well as the various swatches. So you could have it look like one whole outfit. And then of course you could change up that color to have black bottoms, white tops and vice versa. Another big thing that I'm super excited about that I know we have been waiting for and something that I thought they said they had fixed but they now give it to to us in the power of our own hands to make sure that certain items on our sim go from look to look to look so not only are we getting the ability to click on any type of item but we can now go through and say our new category eyelashes that is going to be underneath the makeup in between the eyeliner and the cheeks. We now have our own section for eyelashes and those eyelashes are usable with glasses. We are going to be getting that for base game. We'll have two base game options and then of course if you get the love struck you'll have two extra. So the box up next to the sun there is a little box there that you can apply the item that you're on to every day. Formal, athletic, sleep, party, Party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. You can pick and choose where those lashes and other items like, I don't know, eye color, um, glasses, nose piercings, lip piercings, tattoos, things that should be on your sim. I feel like the everyday look is literally our base. So whatever skin detail or piercing or glasses, I feel like those should auto go to the next thing, but we know they never did. But now they give us a box to make sure that we can check to also move them right along. And thank you for adding very usable and noticeable eyelashes. Um, it looks like the eyelashes that are going to be coming with Love Struck, they are a little bit thicker, a little bit more plumper. I don't know how I feel about the ones that we're on right now. They look very cakey and just like too much mascara was put on them. Um, but the, you can at least tell that they're separate from the eyes from what we've seen before in the previous eyes that we have on our Sims. My concern is how are they going to affect the eyes that are already in the game that have lashes that are very thick and bulky? How will it affect those eyes by putting these lashes on top of those. Um, I see myself using the ones that have none. I do that a lot. Um, and then altering them from there. But that's nothing new. That's something that I've definitely already had put my hands on before. They did say that they had an update to household relationships. We had gotten household relationship update with our expansion pack growing together. Before it said wife, 
husband it was very gender specific they are saying that when the base game update hits that we will be getting so there's no specific title of saying male fiance female fiance boyfriend girlfriend uh, wife husband you're just partner engaged in spouse so if you're married you will have a spouse no matter how you choose to marry if you're engaged you're engaged if you're a partner then you're dating so those are going to be updates that are going to come with the game as well and then with the add-on with love struck you will be able to set up your relationship that you have with your partner engaged or girl wait spouse engaged or partner you'll be able to select whether your romantic dynamic is steamy strange unpredictable or wholesome i don't see myself using wholesome a lot but regardless if you do not set these just like any other just like any other save or game that you have depending on how you play will determine on how your relationship casts so if you play messy you're probably gonna get an unpredictable pop up that pops up in your game if you guys are always you know wholesome you'll probably get a pop up that says that you're wholesome so if you don't pick these your gameplay will determine and i also feel like they did say that maybe you start with a steamy relationship something happens and then maybe you go down to a strained relationship now that's what i feel like that real gameplay and relationship is going to match because you know we all know that honeymoons that honeymoon season will that stay up to date or will you get down to the unpredictable stage what a lot of speculation going for when Love Shuck was announced was, are we getting polyamory in our game? And the answer is yes. So underneath your details, there will be a section called romantic boundaries. You will be able to check yes or no to if your sim gets jealous of a romantic partner, um, your romantic partner engaging in non-physical romance. Um, do they get jealous if a romantic partner engages in physical romance this does not include woohoo with other sims um does your sim get jealous if any romantic partner engages in woohoo woohoo has a separate one for you and does your sim jealousy trigger if your other sim is talking about it with other sims i was not expecting that one but looking back at it i am someone who is polyamory there are different levels of jealousy some people may be okay with physically doing it some people may be okay with not talking about it because they'd rather just do it then why do you have to talk to other people about it so that's actually nice that they actually kind of dug in there and maybe they talked to another polyamorous person to kind of get some details on that they did say that when this re when this drops all of your saves currently everyone is auto going to be set to yes 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 and yes all of your sims are not going to be okay with your sims talking and doing other things with other people there we go so it's going to be set to yes their jealousy is going to be triggered but from henceforward anything after that you'll be able to go through and set now of course there's cheat codes to get into here to change all of this and mods so those sims that uh are okay with it we need to make sure they do so the next few things i'm going to talk about i feel like this is an ode to the modders as well because i feel like things that they're giving on our game are gonna affect mods now of course if you don't play with mods if you don't have a console this isn't going to affect you but uh such things like wicked whims i use wicked whims because it does has have a polyamorous section that i can make my sims polyamorous now i don't know what the modders are gonna do if they're gonna completely take it out of the game out of their mod or they're gonna have it work with this somehow i'm not really sure but i have a feeling that some of my mods they're gonna have to stay out of the game until we get word that those mods are up to date there has been a little birdie announced that the modders are getting a pre-release of the modding capabilities or whatever you do to mod so they have everything they need so they can get a head start on getting the mods set for this release i think that is so great of them i love that they're getting more respect of yes you're you're modding the game but we know how much people love you and how you, how they have brought so many people's how many people to this game that they're giving them a head start to fix their mod so we can get in it as soon as possible but i have to add expect breaks do not attack modders do not attack how fast or how slow they get the new mods out to you they do not have to give this to us they do not have to do this okay they are their own people and if it takes them two weeks then it takes them two weeks please respect the modders that are modding any type of game that you're playing 
So with that, we are getting new traits and new love things. I'm not too concerned about those. So if you're interested in traits and personality styles, we are getting two new traits and two new personality styles that you can add into your game. But I'm actually interested in the romantic styles. Now, I normally do not touch likes and dislikes when I create a sim. I think they're kind of silly and I find them slightly annoying in the game, <laughs> FYI. Um, but also you can turn off certain things if you don't want your sims to really worry about likes, dislikes and stuff like that. That's a, that's a game setting like in majority of the packs you can turn certain stuff off there is a section in the game pack that you can go to settings and turn off some of these things so if you're not interested in it you can turn some of these things off but what I appreciated that they did is that we have a turn on and turn off section of categories way of life characteristics romantic styles hair color outfit color fashion again this is another item that I know will mess with one of my mods so I'm I'm kind of curious on if the mod is just going to take this section out because I already have a section where it's outfit color hair color and stuff like that so I already have that in my game so to see that they've added that I'm like okay those are gonna clash but what I appreciate is that they added romantic styles and under your romantic styles you can choose whether your sim is affectionate they're flirty they like or dislike gift getting gift giving, physical intimacy, intimacy, and woohooing. They gave us love languages and I wasn't expecting that. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but I don't know. For some reason, I was like, oh my God, they gave us love languages. And the first one I saw was gift giving. So I was like, okay, they're really digging a little bit deeper, not only for this pack to work on its own, but it does work with growing together. Because even romance styles, it's still a an act of kindness, an act of love, you know, that love language. So whether they like to flirt, they don't like to flirt. Whether they're affectionate, they're not affectionate. They enjoy giving gifts, they don't want, they don't want anything to do with gift giving, whether giving or receiving. Some of them like physical intimacy, those sims that are asexual and then those who love that woo <laughs> those are really appreciative that they added those in and I'm very here and there when it comes with expansion packs growing together for some reason pulled me in and it brought me back to gameplay the packs after that I wasn't too crazy about something about love struck is doing that again for me I can't explain it but I'm listening to my mind and whatever excitement is going on this is one of the packs I don't know I'm I pre-ordered it and I'm actually excited about it and I'm curious to see how all this gameplay works with those because as they added with the family dynamics, they did add that extra. They said it goes well with growing together. Um, you, kn you know when you know. I don't know what it is, but I'm actually really excited about Love Struck. So as we take a look at our world, we are getting three new um, communities inside of Ciudad and Amorada. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, we have a lounge that's going to be coming, a park. There's a rental. There is a house lot. And then we have um, rooftop condos, apartments, a club, and a new gym that is going to be coming. I feel like the land is pretty beautiful. It looks like we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 lots. Did I count that right? I think I did. If not, comment down below. I may have missed one or added an extra one. But it looks like those are the lots we're going to be getting. And the, I believe there were three simmers that were featured that did create these lots. It is 100% true of what we saw in the initial Love Struck um, playthrough. Well, the first Love Struck, Love Struck t trailer that we are getting curved pools now yes this is <laughs> beyond overdue but we're getting a curved pools that we can use in line with the other walls of the pool but it does break down to a four square so you can make a complete circle pool not a hexagon pentagon all those weird hard shapes we do now have round pools and we're also getting a new treadmill and a new 
um, weight machine along with a weight bench. They did say that we, we would be getting a weight bench. I'm just not 100% percent sure if it's someone that if it's something that we'll be able to use as in a workout or if it's just decor but I could have swore that they said that the weight bench is a new workout option so we are getting a new pie menu we have a section for relationships so the relationships pie section of our chat is going to be popping up when you really want to break down and get to know your sim and different uh interactions that you want to have with them I like this because it is separate from romance and it did kind of look like not all of it is going to pertain to romantic relationships. You can ask a sim what their love languages are. You can also share with them. Um, but I did see, and I think in the friendly section and in this new relationship section, we're going to have new aspects of how to communicate with our sims, get information from them, and them get information from us. Looking at it here, we're going to be able to explain attraction level. So you can ask a sim, figure out if you and a sim are attracted to each other. And in the sims menu, when you go over to your connections, you can actually click on it and it'll tell you if you're attracted to that sim and if that sim is or is not attracted to you and everything that comes with it. You can ask about romantic boundaries. You can ask attraction level and you can ask about romantic satisfaction. One thing that I feel like they are giving us in this base game up Date and with this pack is that they're giving NPCs more of a choice to interact with our sim. Now normally when I play my game I like it sometimes when sims just come up with something. Um, I give my sims full autonomy because you know the chaos is there when I tell them to do something and they decide they want to do something else we argue and bicker with each other. But even when you have an NPC sometimes you want that NPC to be the one to make the choice. Why must it always be me? So if there's certain things going on your sim can break up with you or throw out I want a divorce if you're doing things that are just disrupting them so much sometimes I don't have to pull my boyfriend or girlfriend into my family to make that decision for them there are going to be times where depending on if your sim witnesses the interaction feels some kind of way that eventually they will ask for or just tell you we're breaking up we're getting a divorce now one thing that I did notice is that when we get to the Cupid's Corner section as well as getting events and if you open Open the phone in Cupid's Corner. You can actually have not only a blind date, you can set up a date, but you can go to counseling for your relationship and you can go to a dinner event to fix your relationship. So they're giving us steps not only to make these relationships, we're giving the options to work on our relationships that are already there and go from there. Like the counseling option, the going on the blind date, going on a setup date, or going on a date to fix a bad relationship relationship. Another thing that really stood out to me, and I'll probably play through the video just a little bit, is that when you go into a room or an area, specifically like this case, they're in a bar, you can actually scan the room to see if there's any one of the auras of the other Sims that may be fully attracted to you and pull you in. So that little thing right there is she's scanning the room to get a feel for if there's any Sims in the area that she might be accustomed to going to and may be attracted to. I think that's kind of cool because then that way you can kind of go into a room and sometimes you'd you go off of looks. Sometimes you don't want to go off of looks. But by doing that, you can kind of get your sim to get in tune with their aura and have them scan the room and then figure out, hey, is this sim the sim I should be going after or not? You can also do the same thing of an aura of flirtiness. So if you were to click that button and then go to the aura of flirtiness, it would then reach out and it would hit all the sims in the area so they know that you're out here being flirty and ready to connect with other sims. I feel like this is also pulling in those NPCs to kind of then be the one that interact with you more so it's not just based on you being the player of doing everything. If that's not something that you want to do. If you want to live behind that screen of your player and have the NPC and you interact with them in a way that it feels a little bit different than it's just you controlling the entire situation. Cupid's Corner actually has a better 
put together than I thought. I currently have a mod that does give you a dating app, but it's literally all rabbit hole stuff. Um, you set up an account. It does all the things for you on the other end. When you go into Cupid's Corner and open it up, you actually get to put together your own personal profile. You get to choose your screenshot. Um, your screenshot. You get to choose your profile picture. And if you're a better photography skill, then your pictures will turn out better. Um, but you take a selfie and you pick which one you want to use. You also go in and select which of your traits you want to put on your profile. I believe you can pick three traits traits so it gives you the traits that you have and you decide which ones that you want to put up there and then you go in and you can actually go through the dates you can click which ones you want to save it is more gameplay compatible to your hands on to what is going on in your sims and in your game so once you get everything set up um, oh, you can actually do two. Describe yourself, describe your sim, and it says you can have um, two of those traits showing. Um, and then this this is made for young adults and older. So you can set up that you're looking for all young adults, adults, and elders. Or maybe you're just looking for young adults. Maybe you're just looking for adults and elders. So you actually get to go in and manually change and make your profile. One thing that they did confirm is that by using that hashtag LoveStruckSingles, you have the opportunity to have your non-CC created sim show show up as a participant in Cupid's Corner. Now, if you do not want to have gallery sims pop up in your game, you can actually turn it off. So that's actually really nice. Um, if people just want to have their sims in their save file be the ones that pop up, they don't want whoever's out there creating what. But if you're like me, I like a little craziness. If you've been on dating sites, they're all not perfect. You will get catfished. It, it will happen, but it's up to you to determine, you know, is this really going to be for me or am I just going to keep swiping left? So I think it's really cool that pretty much all of us that use that hashtag have the opportunity of our sim getting pulled to be in this new expansion pack. Um, so go in there and create those sims. Again, use the hashtag love struck singles and I cannot wait to see your sim on my screen. <laughs> Looking at more of the world, you can see that it's very colorful. Um, I can definitely see some of the plants and trees that we're going to be having. Me as a builder, that's kind of some of the things that I was looking at. I was like, okay, what are some new landscaping things that I can do? Knowing that we now have circle walls and round pools, I am seeing a lot more circles here. Um, a lot of the architecture is is round in some way so i feel like they definitely jumped in on that said hey we have it let's 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 use it so this is an area over in the world um it's pretty much a wishing well and in this scene here there is a date taking place and you can go up to this wishing well you can wish for others unhappiness you can wish for others happiness you can steal from the fountain and you can wish for your own love and your own happiness so i like that they gave us this um in a wishing well um you know if you're that spicy type and you're like no i want i want bella to leave mortimer right now you can wish for that so i think that is going to cause a lot of chaos and a lot of um fun to any type of game that you're doing um I think of a lot of this is honestly it's for those that don't use mods can't use mods and console players I know there's going to be a lot of backlash on I have this in the mod I have how many of us are playing the sims I'm I'm seeing the excitement of a lot of this being added to the game and I know there's a lot of things missing in the game things that need to be fixed in the game but it is what it is we are still here we're still simmers and you know you're still going to get it but I digress. Um, with Sims being able to go on dates, they also have new categories that they can do on a date. Um, of course, they have the typical socialize, go dancing, talk about dancing. You can go stargaze now and have some small talk. So there isn't a new animation where, of course, you could always cloud gaze and all of that. But now you can sit down on a bench. Um, I don't know if they do sit on the ground, maybe. But they can stargaze and it looks super, super cute when you see that animation um, of the Sims getting together and having that interaction to just add a little bit of oof imp of ump into their dating lifestyle of what they're doing. And we have really cute, in my opinion, build by items, the decor, a lot of the oxalotls. Um, they're the cutest thing. And you can actually go around in the world and find different types of oxalotls, as well as having an oxalotl uh, statue that you can put into your game. 
another funny thing that you can do in the game is they did have an access of we're going to have some new costumes in the game that you saw from that beautiful body roll from the trailer. But there is a... Um, a suitcase that you can get and you can actually engage with any of your sims dressing up in them not only in the bedroom but you can put it in a public lot and you can click on it as a group and have other sims dress up with you um so it doesn't have to be that type of dress up but you can put this down and engage in the whole party dressing up in different type of outfits and another thing on your date if you're out on a date which this has happened to me a lot I make a lot of different types of builds some of them are generic some of them are coffee houses some of them are laundry mats and when I have an NPC say hey do you want to go on a date yes I would love to go on a date with you but it's at the laundromat. The NPC doesn't know that's not a place to go for a date. They just know it's a public setting. So then I'm like, well, I don't want to say no to the date, but I want to go to the date. And then you're stuck there with a very bad date. Well, now when you go on a date, you'll be able to go to the venue. If it's not a venue of choice and things are not going well, you can now ask your date to go over to a different venue to continue your date. So not only could you start out at a restaurant after you guys eat, eat have a good time you could go ahead and go out to the club and go dancing and then you can also prolong the date if you would like to you can tell you I believe they had a section where you can actually cut it short um, without it because usually if you put an x and close the date it doesn't even count um, but now you can click on it and say hey do you want to stay out longer and it'll add some time to your date the little things that I appreciate because sometimes I do have a good date and I I'm like, I don't want this to end or you don't, you don't get to those things fast enough. You didn't get that. You didn't get that last kiss that you needed to get to get you up to the next level. You can extend that date and travel from venue to venue now. Definitely go through and watch the full video on, like I said, if you want to get a little bit closer in depth of what we'll be getting. I'm not going to go through all the items here because um, honestly, I, I like seeing them face to face um, and I don't want to replay the entire video when you <laughs> watch the original one. But one thing that I was talking about earlier is that we are getting some new workout equipment. We have the dumbbell. I, like I said, I, I thought they said that it is a new workout, not just the decor. But we are getting new sliding doors for bathrooms and some new wall textures there. And then they, they, they made their own little shower. Um, new bar items. The new woohoo rug. And another thing that's coming is that on the phone, you can actually specifically purchase romantic items and I feel like that can go hand in hand with love day as well the event that happens aka valentine's day because when you go to buy purchase gifts like if it's romantic we have a rose and I'm like that's that's it unless you know that sim likes certain things but when you click on the phone you can now click on purchase um romantic items and you'll get a list of different things boxes of chocolate those boxes of strawberries flowers etc etc um, another thing that's going to be coming um, that actually I think it's around the area of the water fountain um, the wishing well is a floral shop um, that I had saw and I was hoping it was going to be maybe you can be a floral assist I don't know what it was um, but it is but it will be a floral shop that's going to be there Another push that they're going to be doing is we're going to get two new vendor stands and they added three new meals that are coming to, into the game. So if, again, I feel like the home home chef shuffle I think was the name of the pack um, I feel like that's going to be an added bonus into that if you have a foodie uh, and those uh, that are working the food vendor marts and different decors of that nature and then our round and then our round sided pools we're getting uh, more lining on those. And then we're not getting really that much stuff that goes outside. Most of it is all indoors decor. Uh, we're getting a new swing set. We're getting another outdoor rug, another bird bath, a couple of benches. It looks like a trash can and some more light decor. Our floor and wallpaper tiles are coming in a range of... Um, Prince, uh, the red one with the black and the brown, 
I already know what kind of room that's going in. But I digress. Um, we can play with a lot of the tiles as well to flip and flop them where needed. And they had said the walls with the vines, when you put them on the ceiling, they connect really well if you have them on the walls to the ceiling. Um, they did. There's, there is a gap on the floor, so I can see those attaching really well to the tops of your ceilings down the wall and then doing some different other on the bottom so i think i can i can respect that personally i, I really really can going back a little bit fyi we are getting the heart-shaped bed back um i do have a cc item of this that works just like the og heart bed it does look very different um i do say i love the swatches on this heart-shaped bed i think i'm still going to keep my cc heart-shaped bed but this one does have the vibrations you can now cuddle in the bed and it has a couple more things that you can do in it like i said the swatches are adorable i love the leopard print swatch of course but it does have the capabilities of you going through and doing a lot of things in the bed that you could do before um you can do light controls you can have vibration you can relax together you can sleep nap um, nap you know all the things you could normally do in our heart shaped bed um so you can still assign to left and right side of bed still works like a normal bed and then you can choose who you want to cuddle with in the vicinity and it does have a cute cuddle animation with it um so i i love that you can see that it's vibrating <laughs> just just so you know this bed is this bed is a totally vibrating fyi <laughs> all right so like i said i went ahead and kind of did a little speed run kind of through just hitting on the points of things that i know stuck out to me and things that i thought was the most important for me to talk about um again linked down below in the description is the full video of everything that you can see through and you can kind of listen through them and kind of uh check on the chat and see what everything is going on there um like i said all the build by items we're getting a lot of bar items which makes sense when we're making venues and stuff to go through one thing i did forget we are getting a rabbit hole hotel so if you want to take your sims out to a spicy hotel in spend a couple of hours you can send them there it works very similar to the san sequoia carnival where you ride the rides there and you just send them there and then you wait for them to come out and go through there um kind of wish we kind of had more of a let's get a hotel lot um but it is what it is it's it's part of Part of playing the game and just accepting what they decided to do with it is the best that we can do. So let me know down in the comments, what do you think of the Love Struck developer live stream that went live? What are some things that you noticed that I not bring up that you're excited for or maybe even disappointed that you thought was coming that didn't? We can all have constructive criticism and conversations about a game that we all know and love. So don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell so you don't miss any of the next videos. And don't forget the newest shell challenge is live and ready just in time for the love struck release. So definitely go check out the community tab if you want to see how you can enter into the love struck um, themed shell challenge as well as creating a sim that can go with your build and let us know about that in our discord as well. So have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are. And this is Luna. Galaxy out.